for Jackie Dempson. Check it out. Now, Derrick Rose could finally put aside a chapter in his life that he's definitely not proud of, whether it be true or not. Now, if you guys don't know, he's been accused, or he was accused, of raping a chick, basically, just in layman's term. He was kicking it with a chick. He used to donkey fuck her all the time. But on this occasion, apparently, he got tired of the pussy, and he said, yo, it ain't fun if the homies can't get none. Now, he basically told his chick, him and three of his homies wanted to run a train on her. Keep in mind, he's an NBA celebrity. He got hella bitches, and basically she was one. Okay, so he doesn't care that much. He's trying to run a train on her. Now, this is where the whole problem comes in. Because she said, yeah, I always fuck with Derrick Rose, but I never consented to no type of train. Now, on that night, a train did go down. She says, yo, that shit is rape. Now, the reason why she says that it's rape is because she says, yo, they invited her over. It was Derrick Rose, three other dudes. They gave her a bunch of, like, cocktails. Pause on the cocktails because cock was definitely slang. But basically, there's she's saying she was intoxicated to the point she could have not consented to sex. All right? Now, she says she woke up. She realized she got fucked and she was already on her way home. And she was really, like, fucked up over it. But it kind of gets a little, little hazy because she reported to the cops two years later. Okay, two years later, and basically her evidence of her getting raped is that she's having flashbacks of the event, even though she said she was basically so drunk, she was at the point of blackout. So she couldn't really remember, but she's having flashbacks way after, okay? Now, there's no criminal charges filed, so that's the most important thing, at least for Derrick Rose, so he ain't gonna go to jail. This is not a go-to-jail type of thing. Uh, the DA's office has not said they will file charges, so possibly they never will, right? But a civil lawsuit was filed by the chick. She wanted some money, right? And that went to court, and now a jury has decided if she will get money. And basically what they said is, fuck out of here, all right? They said, listen... Based on the evidence provided in court, they see no type of fault on the part of Derrick Rose that would lead them to think that she was sexually assaulted. So basically, after unanimous decision was uh, reached, she ain't getting no money. She ain't getting no money. The case is dismissed, and Derrick Rose is officially cleared, at least in civil court, from this crime. All right, now he could go on and have a good career with the New York Knicks. Hopefully they make the playoffs. Hopefully he don't get injured. I know a lot of Knicks fans are rooting for him. And listen, it's a very unfortunate situation, whatever it is, because if Shorty really did feel like that happened to her, remember she don't got good memory, she blacked out or whatever the case is, according to her, um, it's still unfortunate for her as well. However, there's no evidence, and that's all we could go with for now. Um, The main important thing is that I know a lot of people, especially women on social media, they love to label people as rapists, even though there is no fucking charges uh, criminally or there's no convictions. I hope that stigma does not get passed down to Derrick Rose because y'all just heard a jury, even though it's a civil case, not motherfucking guilty. He's completely off the hook. Don't be labeling this man as no other shit just based on some allegations. Okay, get in the comments. If you guys like that, subscribe to Jackie Dynamics. I'm up.